Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions video. In this video, we're going to go over Major Changes 13. Uh, I have quite a bit of stuff to go over with you guys, so uh, bear with me and we'll get on with this. Uh, we're going to go over the fascia on the helix, which I finally completed. Um, we're going to go over uh, some scenery that I have added, um, and the paints, and all the uh, products that I've used for, to do my scenery. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I am going to do another change to the uh, Glendale, North Glendale area, and at the same time, uh, there'll be uh, some major changes done in room number one. I'm still going to uh, title these major changes, but uh, with the subtitle of room one. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else I got here. Uh, You'll see in this video that I got a new toy. Uh, actually, Diana and I got a new toy. And the reason for this toy is because we do our rail fanning together. And so um, we decided to do a new toy so we can do uh, multiple videos and then combine them together. I will not be posting um, rail fanning videos on my channel. Uh, instead, we're going to collaborate, Diana and I, and the collaboration is going to be AZ, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> Sunshine Studios and Thumper One Productions. Um, that's going to be a collaboration of both of our Ralph Fanning videos put together, uh, and we'll see how that's going to work out. Uh, what else do I got to say here? Special, oh, <laughs> oh, I almost forgot the most important part. Uh, we did another Ralph Annie video, and this one was a special one because I caught my number five heritage unit. Uh, there'll be two clips at the end of this video of that unit. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I think I covered about everything here. Uh, like I said, we did get a new toy, and you'll see that in the video. Uh, let's see, the facial I did, uh, the Glendale I did. Um, that's about it for now guys, so uh, anyhow stay tuned and uh, we'll get to the rest of the video. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm going to give you an overview of what's been done so far on my layout. As you can see right here is the uh, new road that I'm installing. Uh, it's been in prime right now and it'll get painted here shortly. I'm also going to put my uh, little 7-Eleven there. And this poor guy, he's been all over the layout. I don't know exactly where he's going to go, but he might go there. Anyhow, uh, let's continue on down here. Uh, as you can see, I've got it all painted up. All in here has been painted. All this has been painted. Uh, got my mountain here. It's been painted. And all the way around to this side has all been painted. Now, I'll show you what I, my intentions are for the rest of the helix. Alright, as I showed you the other day, I had already installed these. But now I have installed these also. And I have done it on the second row. And I need to do the next three rows uh, in order to finish it. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank my buddy George again for using his table saw to cut these out. Uh, he did a great job on it. He made him exactly one inch as I requested. And as you can see, it goes all the way around. And now I'll show you what the top part of this is going to look like. Alright, as you can see, I have my inner uh, fascia up in here. And just to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like, this is going to be the scenery that's going to go in here. Uh, and that'll go all the way around, all the way around to this side here. And when it gets to that corner right there, I'm going to blend this into here and continue the scenery. And I'm going to do the same in the back. I'm going to come up a bit there and then come back down and meet it all here. So it has a nice... Uh, cut that it goes through when it goes around this S-curve. Uh, all right. You can see, I've got all my uh, fascia up on the um, uh, helix, and I think it's looking pretty good. Sorry for the close shot there, boys, but it's pretty tight in my layout room here. But anyhow, it's uh, completed all the way around. 
as you can see that and I think it looks pretty good but now for the uh, best part of this is up here as you can see I got my uh, scenery in there and it goes all the way around like I told you guys it would do and um, this is the part here that I told you guys I was going to blend it all into as you can see I got the uh, mountain up here and it continues on into here and the same thing with the back that's continued on to here so the next part of this is to be paint this up and uh, add some ground cover to it and also we got it all completed down here on the bottom anyhow uh, let me continue on this uh, I think today I might be working on this area here to get this all done all the way up to this corner right here and uh, then basically up at upper deck scenery will be completed anyhow uh, stay tuned and we'll get on with the rest of this video be back in a few minutes all right guys this is what the uh, completed uh, scenery around the helix and up to the uh, um, Agua Fria dry river uh, as you can see I did bring it up over there like I said I was gonna do and it's all painted up now and we'll take a walk around the top of the helix and this is going to be a pretty nice cut once it's all uh, scenic and everything like that. But anyhow, as you can see, uh, I've got it all done. Uh, there's some touch-up that needs to get done, uh, especially on the uh, on the fascia here. I kind of slip with the brush, but uh, that's easily fixed. And uh, so as you can see, we're about ready to put some scenery on here, but that won't be for a while yet. Um, but anyhow... We finished down here also, as you can see, and now it's on to other projects that I got going on. So stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. Alright guys, this is what I've accomplished so far today. Uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, mountain formations on the uh, very back wall here near Fertizona, and it goes all the way over into the corner there and meets up with that mountain right there. Uh, next Part of this is going to be putting uh, plaster on it. Uh, we'll do that uh, a little later on today maybe. Uh, but let me get down and show you the uh, next part that I've done uh, to the North Glendale area. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Alright guys, this is going to be the next modification I'm going to be doing to the layout. This is the uh, North Glendale area. And if you remember, uh, it stopped right here uh, and my auto salvage yard was in this area. Um, I also mentioned in one of my previous videos that I was going to take the DPM buildings away from Wickenburg uh, and I decided to use them here. Uh, but I still want to use my auto salvage yard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out by 6 inches and I'll be able to get my auto salvage yard in there. And um, if you remember correctly, uh, the main road went through here and it curved around so I'm able to get the gas station on this side and a couple of other small buildings in this area. Uh, anyhow, um, I'll be working on this and that simultaneously. So uh, stay tuned and we'll get on with the rest of the video. All right guys, I told you I'd be working on two parts of this layout simultaneously and this is what I've completed on the upper level. Uh, as you can see, I've got all my uh, plaster done. Uh, next step with this is gonna be, um, go ahead and give it a, a different color than white, you know. Um, so anyhow, um, let me get on with that, and we'll see how that all looks when it's done. So stay tuned, and we shall be right back. All right, guys, as you can see, I now have uh, the uh, scenery backdrop or foundation for the mountains up at here at uh, the Fertizona area. Sorry about that. Uh, anyhow, uh, it is still wet. I just got finished painting it. I'm going to wait a couple hours. Uh, and then uh, maybe I'll start adding some ground cover. Anyhow, I don't know for sure yet. Uh, that might be in the next video. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned and we got maybe one or two more items to show you here. Be right back. Alright guys, this is what you're looking at now is the uh, modified North Glendale area. Uh, as you can see, there's my scratch built gas station and there's a 7-Eleven and a little warehouse there and an electrical company there. And as we turn around, you see the back side of the DPM buildings and this place here is going to be called Sunshine Auto Salvage 
Uh, yeah, you guys probably know that I call Diana Sunshine, so uh, <laughs> this is going to be dedicated to her. Uh, anyhow, this is an overview of the uh, North Glendale area. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys around the other side, and so you can see this, how it looks uh, coming in from that direction and from that direction. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is how it's going to look as we uh, take a walk, and you're looking under the uh, second um, level, and this is the North Glendale area. We have uh, all our industries here, and you can see all the DPM buildings, and I think my little sub-power station is going to stay right there. I think it finally found a home. Anyhow, we'll keep scanning around here. And we'll see how it looks from all different angles. And I personally think it looks pretty good. And of course I'm going to finish the road from there and have it come out. But I think when it gets to here, I'm going to have it curve out. Because otherwise it would be going into this post. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned and we'll get back to a little bit more on this uh, um, major up changes. Uh, be right back. All right, guys, what you're looking at now is the uh, road that's going to go through North Glendale. Uh, as you can see, I've got it all the way down to the end, and I did curve it away from that post back there, uh, which makes a little bit more sense than having it crash into the post. Anyhow, um, there's going to be a special feature that I'm going to put on this roadway, and uh, I'll get you out to the work table and I'll show you what it's all about. Anyhow, um, <clears throat> this road will get painted black, and I will be using highways and byways uh, graphics to uh, stripe it all up. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned and I'll show you what my uh, uh, little special build is going to be for this road. So, uh, be right back. Alright guys, here we are out at my work area. And I am going to show you a project that I am going to attempt to build. Um, most of our roads uh, here in Phoenix, um, most of the major roads, I should say, have medians in the middle. So I am going to attempt to make a medium for the road that I just showed you guys. Uh, materials I'm going to be using is my favorite for sale signs. And also, we're going to be using number 135 uh, styrene strips. Um, I already cut the base for it out. This is five scale feet. And uh, what I'm going to do next is take a piece of the uh, 135 stripping and I'm just going to kind of curve it around like that. You guys can see that. And then I'll just attach it to the uh, 5 foot sub uh, foundation. So anyhow, um, let me get this going and we'll see how it turns out. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, guys, now that I've shown you uh, what I was going to be doing, this is what it's going to look like on the layout. Uh, as you can see, the medium will be there, and I left room for the driveway. And um, I will probably put another one in between this driveway here, and then also at the end over here I'll put another. Anyhow, um, let's get on with the rest of this. Like I said, the road will be painted black. Um, the uh, medium, uh, I'm not quite sure, it might be painted concrete. Um, anyhow, stay tuned and we'll get back to the rest of this video. Alright guys, what you're looking at here is the uh, color black I used for the roads in um, uh, North Glendale. This uh, can of paint was purchased at uh, Home Depot and it's 97 cents, uh, which is pretty good price for me. Anyhow, let me take you over and let me show you the road uh, as I have uh, completed it this morning. Uh, and here we go. All the graphics on here are uh, highways and byways, and I did my little medium there, and we'll follow it around a little further, and another medium there, and then my railroad crossings. Uh, I still need to finish the ones on that side. I also need to get in touch with John to get me some more railroad crossing uh, 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 graphics. Anyhow, uh, now we'll move up to the upper section, and I'll show you what's been done. I had my apprentice Diana paint all the uh, rust or oxide rocks on here. And as you can see, we've got it going all the way around. 
And again, I'm sorry for being so close, guys. This is a tight room in here. And what I used for this were these uh, acrylic paints. This one here is uh, Burnt Sienna. And this one here is Burnt Umber. And what I did was I put three drops of this um, and one drop of this um, and mixed it in a small jar with uh, one eyedropper of water. And so this is the color we got. And to bring this a little bit more forward, I'll show you what's going on as far as scenery goes. Basically, this is how the, the entire upper section is going to look. And uh, these bushes here are actually uh, the trees that John Manon sent me, or Monon, sorry. Um, they were a bit too tall for me, so I cut them down to bushes. I repainted them to different color greens. Um, anyhow, um, we'll be doing more on this maybe later on today. All right, guys, what you're looking at here is uh, a box that has uh, a new camera in it. Uh, Diana and I decided that when we do our rail fanning, we should have two cameras so we can get different angles and then combine them together. Uh, anyhow, um, we made a purchase. Um, we went partners on it, and this is what the camera looks like right here. Let me move this box out of the way. And uh, we'll go over some, free, some of the features on here. Anyhow, this camera has <laughs> got so many bells and whistles on it, it'll probably take my lifetime to figure out how to use it. Uh, anyhow, as you can see, it comes with a 50, uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Uh, got lots of bells and whistles on it. Uh, like I said, it'll probably take me a lifetime to figure out how all this stuff is going to work. Uh, anyhow, um, we decided to do this and we already did one Ralph Fanning video with this camera. Uh, and it came out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Uh, so anyhow, uh, let's get on with the rest of the video. Be back uh, shortly. Alright guys, what you're looking at is the materials I'll be using for the uh, scenery on the upper part of the uh, helix. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff here and we'll go over it shortly. Um, right here, we have um, JTT product. It's uh, like a uh, uh, soil or dirt. And then we have another JTT product right here, which is uh, a blended grass. And then we have different types of uh, foliage. This is a Woodland Scenics, and this one here is JTT, and this one here is Woodland Scenics. Sorry about the light, guys. Um, <clears throat> we'll go a little further here. Uh, other um, uh, clump foliage, different colors, more clump foliage right there, and uh, some yellow grass. And we got our 50 50 alcohol blend, and then we have 50 50 uh, glue, and then the uh, ground cover that I showed you guys that we picked up uh, off the side of the road was uh, this. Uh, um, beige or tan color stuff uh, looks really good on on the uh, layout when I put it on there um, also we're using some more blended turf and uh, again a little bit more uh, clump foliage also uh, on our recent rail trip I picked up some uh, rocks that I'm going to be using for boulders and so on and so forth and this is being recorded with the new camera that Diana and I bought so stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. All right guys, what you're looking at here right now is the uh, semi-completed uh, auto salvage yard uh, that's going to be called Sunshine Auto Salvage. As you can see, I've got ground cover in there and I used the, uh, the uh, dirt that we picked up off the roadside on one of our rail fanning trips. Uh, happened to work out really well. Anyhow, uh, we'll go ahead and take a uh, drive down the road here as you can see I've got my uh, median there and I also have another median there and I also uh, got the uh, graphics from highways and byways to finish off my road as you can see and we'll walk up here a little bit more 
and that's over there also. And I also start to clean this area up a bit. Uh, it was getting pretty gross with all kinds of stuff on it. Um, anyhow, uh, now we'll move on up to the upper section. So stand by and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're going to start off at the bottom part of the uh, helix here. Um, as you can see, I've got some ground cover and some bushes on here. Um, we need to finish this road off. It's going to come out and curve around and come out towards the end of the table. Uh, now we'll walk around here a bit more. And as you can see, I've got this guy done. Um, added some of the rocks and stuff that we picked up also on here. And we'll continue further around. And the other mountain is done, and also again with the rocks. Uh, and if you guys notice in my rail fanning videos that uh, there's hardly any trees, more bushes than trees. Uh, anyhow, walk around here a little further, and we got this little section done. And let me show you what this is going to look like on this side. And as you can see, I've got my 7-Eleven there, and a little manufacturing plant there, and my scratch-built gas station and uh, another little warehouse there. Anyhow, uh, we'll go ahead and continue on up to the upper section of the layout, which is going to be the uh, helix, upper section of the helix. Anyhow, uh, I put this little scene together right here. Um, looks pretty good. None of this is uh, secured yet. And if you can see, I also added some ballast in there. And that also is the uh, the uh, dirt that we picked up off, off the road. Anyhow, we'll take a walk around the layout and I'll show you what this upper section is going to look like. And there's still some more stuff I need to add on here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be putting on here yet. Maybe some telephone poles and stuff like that. And as you can see, it's done all the way up to the Agua Fria Bridge. Anyhow, uh, let me see what else we can put on this video. Um, so I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this so far. Uh, so let's see what's going on. Be back in a little bit. Alright guys, this is another view of the uh, North Glendale area. As you can see, I've got all my DPM buildings there. And I also extended it just a little bit further over here, uh, just to fill up that empty space that was there. Um, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, anyhow, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And as always, your questions, comments, input, and subs are always welcome. For now, that's all folks. BNSF 6951. Out.